millions of dollars misspent, and it's not just at UCF. Not Investigates has been digging into what some are calling a systematic problem at Florida universities. Investigative reporter Christopher Heath has been digging into just how widespread this problem really is and what it can mean for schools across our state. Seven days ago, mistakes were made. UCF voted to accept the resignation of President Dale Whitaker amidst a $38 million building scandal. But now we're learning UCF isn't the only school with money issues. In Tampa, USF is investigating $6.4 million in spending. The University of Florida is looking into $3 million. Both similar, but significantly smaller than the 38 million at UCF. What we have right now is we have a systemic problem in the state university system. Orlando representative and UCF alum Carlos Guillermo Smith says for years the legislature has been choking off the money universities use for buildings, all while schools like UCF have been growing. I want to say when I graduated there were about 21, 22,000 students, and I think this past term we had 68,000 students. Dr. Michael Armado graduated from UCF in the 90s. He now teaches at the university and has watched as the school has become the focal point of a state investigation into misspending. I'm suspicious of not having the money for that because it seems like legislatures come up with money when they want it for certain kind of pet projects or whatever they want to do. The state is not the only place where you can get money for uh, a new building. Former House member Jason Broder points out new buildings aren't just a one-time cost. Upkeep means more spending in the future and that costs money. But the fact remains, since 2006, state funding for buildings has fallen from $420 million in 2006 to $242 million last year, all while student population has grown. And the legislature points out that it does have $700 million in construction projects already underway. In recent years, the state has pushed schools to look towards public-private partnerships. That is, have a private group build the building, then lease it back. That's, of course, not always the easiest option. As for UCF, the state is still investigating and may ask Dale Whitaker to come back in for an additional information. Greg and Martha.